telling you, <laughs> this room has drastically becoming more and more of a absolute nightmare. In the fact that I, I have so many different piles of clothes from like clothes I haven't worn yet, clothes that need hung up, clean clothes, hauls. I have makeup collections and hauls scoured all over everything. I have trash, I have makeup that needs put away. My camera's off balance, even though it's on a tripod. Makes sense. So, I'm excited. It's the last few days of October. Halloween is here, basically here. And I have been putting off the Hocus Pocus collection for no reason. And finally, we're just going to play with it, because why not? And I don't really even know. Everything is just an absolute mess. Oh, by the way, you see my last video? These nails were absolute trash. <laughs> they looked so bad and so fake, and they just kept falling off. They were stickers. And I have these on right now, and they're just like super glued nails. They're okay. I'm not used to having nails, so, so that's fun. But we're gonna throw some makeup on my face, and then we're gonna kind of get into this, and yeah. Okay, I don't know. Everything's all over, like always, but I'm just kind of grabbing some stuff that I haven't used in a while. I'm gonna use the Elf Horless Primer. It's weird having fake nails, or whatever these are. And of course, I am listening to music again, and it really bums me out. I would love to be playing some, like, Halloween-inspired music with you guys, and just kind of, like, vibing out, but not with this day and age. I was literally just thinking, like, man, I miss... I should have been doing makeup back in the day, or doing, like, YouTube videos and stuff back in the day when, when, like, you were allowed to play music without just, like, worrying about it. But at that point, I would have to take all those videos down now, so it wouldn't really matter. Hi, are you joining the party? Are you gonna join the party? My mirror is afraid of the ring light. Literally, I'm telling you, when I'm telling you, I don't even have room to sit and film this room. But like at the same time, I don't wanna take everything out just to have to like put it all back and like waste time and stuff. So here we are sitting in front of my door. Yeah, it's fun. But then we were in front of the door when I was doing my Iowa makeup, but like, yeah. I haven't used this Fenty foundation in a while. I've been like really, like it's actually kind of funny because I'm like, you know what? I am such into like full coverage and you know, like the whole beat, but like really not. Like that tinted moisturizer by Morphe was bomb.com. I am obsessed with the ColourPop like tinted moisturizer. I think it's like just a tint or something. I don't know. I'm too lazy to get up and look at it right now. But yeah, there's like some really good tinted moisturizers that I like really, really like right now. Of course, I have to take this out just because I don't want to look absolutely crazy. But yeah, I really like tinted moisturizers right now and then any like spots or space, like places I need more coverage. I've just been using some extra concealer in those areas and I like like I was obsessed with my skin Saturday. Like it looked so freaking good. I took a selfie and I used no filter, no editing, no nothing and I was like obsessed and I normally feel like I need some type of filter to like really enjoy my pictures unfortunately just because I feel like my skin is just not how I would like it to be all the time if that makes sense. And then I grabbed the kimchi the most concealer and this is in peachy ivory. I don't like this brush or squeezy tube that much but it's a pretty decent product. I don't know I just especially the days where I'm not going anywhere and I'm getting ready just to wipe this back off and go back to like my normal job. Like I just like to play with other products I don't use as much anymore just so that they don't feel like so wasted and abandoned almost. So I figured why not switch it up a little bit. Like this foundation's, uh, I guess it's not that bad. It's oxidizing. And the concealer's definitely helping a little bit. Yeah, it won't look too bad. I'm not obsessed, but it'll do. Need to put batteries in this mirror so I can use the light up feature. Next, I wanna try this Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. Ooh, it's got a cute little puff. I think I'm gonna try the puff. I wanna see if it's good. Are there downside to having these stupid nails? I can't get this peely to go. I need tweezers. So this is in translucent. Has a tiny mirror, which I kind of don't love. Where's my brushes? Change my mind, I'm using a brush. Ooh, she's. So it's definitely mattifying, but like, it also looks pretty powdery. Don't love that. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild bronzer and shade Reserve Your Cabana. I like how light this is. I love how big it is too. She's powdery. I haven't used this in 
a good while. Yeah, now I remember why I didn't really use this. So I wanted a lighter bronzer and it's not really giving me like any color. It's almost like my skin color. Hmm. If I just look like I just have like a hint of color, I honestly look kind of orange. What in the heck? Hmm. Yeah, I look insane right now. Let's see if we can salvage this at all. Next, I want to try this little Essence The Blush. So cute and tiny. And it's like a light taupey color. I wonder if, like what I'm even doing with my face right now. Hmm. Yeah, this is also just like... This is not, it's not doing it for me. What else do we got? Let's try this. I have this Bare Minerals Gen Nude. Ow! Mmm. <laughs> Another reason why I remember I don't use these stupid fake nails. Okay, my under eyes and stuff look way too light. I'm gonna add some of this bronzer. Better. Look less pasty at least. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, this is in the Let's Go Nude shade. I think I got this in one of those little, like, get 10 items for, like, 50 bucks or some crazy something. So let's try this and see if we can add some color to my face. Because we're not really having... Well, you know what? She's pigmented. Well, let's just say I'm cold from being outside and for Halloween, I guess. I don't... Ugh. I am not happy with this makeup at all, but I also don't have time to redo this. I really want to play with this collection finally. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the eyeshadow palette. Now, there was a rumor that I saw on Twitter that this was the same palette as one of the Disney palettes. So let's open this. So I have both of the, the Misunderstood and the Midnight Masquerade. I don't remember. So this is the like Disney Princess palette. And this is the Hocus Pocus palette. I mean, there's some similarities, but this one has more color, I feel like. So I don't think it was this one. So let me check misunderstood okay so this is the misunderstood palette and this is the hocus pocus palette yeah i can definitely see some similarities like there's that purple dead in the middle there's a gold in the top row a brown in the top row the white there's down the bottom you have like that green and purpley and there's like a dark color they look kind of similar but i also feel like they don't so without further ado let's just put this on my face I kind of want to do like a more burgundy look. I don't really do burgundy. And since it's fall, I kind of want to experiment a little bit and see if it looks good on me. And if so, then maybe I can actually like do a makeup look like that sometimes. Instead of like wasting my time any other time. So start off with, let's maybe take this okay let's start with i think i'm gonna put hello salem which is just such a beautiful like mauvey shade at the top up there and like though that this is my color like this is what i gravitate towards like the most and i'm just gonna kind of not pack this but just kind of flatly brush this all over my lid just as some type of like base color and because i kind of want to go darker on my eyes i think that this will be fine so because of covid what's everyone doing for halloween this year i'm kind of intrigued and and interested i think rude i think i want to do dead man's toe which is this perfect like deeper purple here yeah i'm gonna be gentle because i have a feeling it's going to be pretty pigmented i need to wash my brushes again i was getting really good at washing my brushes for a little while and then i just got really lazy but it's because i wasn't like playing with makeup as much so i'm like well why do i need to wash my brushes when like for why so i do like this it doesn't go on nearly as dark as it is in the pan which i actually sometimes prefer and in this case i prefer it because if i want to build it up later then i can without it being like too intense they're all blending great i love ColourPop products i wish this was sponsored but it is not to add a little bit more in the crease yeah cool i like it so far although i probably look crazy which what is new take a little brush and i think i want to take i think we're gonna take a little bit of we're gonna take a little bit of coven this brown shade here has a little bit of shimmer but i think it might be fine i want to deepen my creases a little bit before yep that is actually perfect and it goes really nice with the purple and honestly adding the hint of shimmer is not that bad cool 
Okay, so I would definitely want to take this dark maroon shade, which is Night of Frolic, the shade here, and put that on my outer corner. Oh, she's super pigmented and super powdery in the pan. There's a lot of kickback. Like, I'm afraid to pick this up. Like, yeah, you can definitely see that. That's the most powdery shade so far. I'm honestly kind of surprised about. I really like this color, though. And it goes great with the purple and brown. I'm not even rubbing my brush in it for the other side. I'm just gonna pat it. Yeah, this is a great shade just like that and then just ever so slightly yeah that looks really really good i think so yeah i'm gonna have to definitely wash my brushes after this because they're like stained for sure i'm just gonna gently oh it's stained the bottom of the palette oh no now it's getting all over i don't want it to get in other shades darn it i was trying to brush it away and it stained the palette a little bit and got a tad bit in there but that's my fault I think what I want to first try is a little bit of Thackeray Bix. I haven't seen this movie in a long time. I apologize. But this like purple shimmer shade here. And I'm going to put that on the inside of my crease. Or on the inside of my lid. Why not? Okay, let's get another flat brush then. Okay, so this one definitely needs to be applied wet. Because it's more like metallic glitter shimmer shock. Shimmer shock just shock shadow formula whatever but i am huh okay this might not be able to be done with a brush so let's try it with my finger instead and i'm getting it all over that palette yep it does apply better with a finger so i do like that a lot i don't mean to flip you off but i i don't love that um, from my finger, but I feel like there's not really a good way to pack this on like I want. I'm gonna just keep trying to build it up. Okay, that's gonna have to do for now. Let's get, there has been some fallout with those darker shades, which I kind of expected. And then I wanna take, I wanna take a little bit of Tis Firm, which is this red metallic here, and try a little bit of that more on the inner part of my lid. Let's see if we can get this to work. Um, not really. I mean, it's the exact same formula as the purple one. Oh, no, maybe a little bit. Mm, maybe there's just not a ton of color difference between the two. Okay, so. I think next I want to take just a hint of brute potion, the glitter here. Put that on the very center of my lid just to have a tiny pop. Oh my god. Dude, I literally had to change the battery because it just said that it was dying. And I literally searched for 10 minutes after I took the new battery, the charge battery, off the charger. And I lost it under my ankle. And somehow I didn't feel it the whole time. I'm over it. I'm done with it. We're gonna put glitter on my eyelid. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's actually, I would probably want some type of glitter glue, which I've realized I want glitter glue for glitters more than I thought I ever would, which I think I have glitter glue somewhere, but we'll be okay. I do like this gold glitter in the center though. It gives it just some type of pop, but I feel like gold is still like, fall e enough because it has those like brown hints to it. What I do want to do though, so I'm going to take a little brush and I want to put Bewitched, this olive green under my eye. I may regret this. We'll see. Okay, I think I might like that. Oh! I, I look less crazy in person. I feel like Oh my god, this is why I can't wear dark colors. We're gonna, so we're gonna do a bunch of buffing, but I look absolutely insane. Let's do some buffing, let's go. So I took this white creamy color full moon. It's not a pure white, it's more of a cream. And buffed that on my lower lash line and a little bit on, up around my brow bone. Okay, battery's about to die. Found my battery, let's change it. I still look absolutely insane. Yeah, I look absolutely insane still. So, I don't know. 
Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna add a little bit of wench, which is this shimmer down here, or metallic -y color. Try to put that in my brow bone and inner corner, see if we can make it look any better. This is exactly why I don't wear dark colors. It's not that I don't like them. Oh, this is gold, but I just can't seem to either do it right or pull it off. I don't know. Also, I don't have a highlight on. Do I have a highlight near me? I can't find a highlighter directly near me, so I'm just gonna use this Revolution one. I like this one at least, and it doesn't look bad on me. Yeah, I look insane, for me at least. So I have, a, I have all three shades of liners here. So I have Trick or Treat, Black Flame Candle and Sisters. What color would brighten this up the most? Let's take a look, cause that's the color I wanna use. Because I look insane right now. So we have a purple, red, and green. Let's do red. Thank God I just finished my water cause I would have knocked it over otherwise. That's lovely. Um, it doesn't look better, but it doesn't look worse. I don't know. Maybe let's just put some mascara on. And because I have it handy, I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild Bad Bitch Lift with Bretman Rock collab. This one's getting a little crusty at the top. Like at the bottom, it's fine. I can't tell if it looks better or worse with mascara. Well, it's safe to say I'm living my best vampy life right now. I think I like it better with the mascara. Still not my favorite though. I do have all three sets of lashes, but since I'm getting ready just to go to back to work, I'm not gonna put them on, but I, it's Boss Witch, Clever Witch, and Flirty Witch. I would probably, hmm. If I were to wear some, ooh, those are so cute and dang it. Ooh, I think my favorite are the Clever Witch just cause they're like so mild. But I do have all those. And then I have both glitters. I think I do want to open these though. By the way, this whole packaging of this collection is absolutely adorable. Like, like these glitters, for instance. These black hats are so cute. Maybe we'll add a touch of this glitter because there's the purple and the more like champagne -y one. I think I'm going to add a tad bit of the champagne -y one to my lid, which I know you're not supposed to add the glitters. I don't think they're like technically eye safe, which I'm pretty sure that's what they say. doesn't say on this, but I'm pretty sure these aren't supposed to be used on your eye, but I'm going to do it anyways because I'm a rebel. Not really. I don't really use ColourPop like glitter gels just because I don't have like anywhere to wear them like to. Like I don't, I don't know. Maybe let's put it. I mean, it definitely added something. Like I said, these aren't like my favorites. Then again, I feel like I also don't know how to use it very well, but they're definitely very cute. And the, like I said, the packaging is adorable. So next I have all three lip kits. So let's open these up. So there is a, ooh, do I do dark? So there are three, three shades. There's like this maroon shade, a bright red, and like a, almost like a pinky ready one. Let me open it. Ooh, that's a nice red. Okay. That's a nice one too. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the dark one because let me tell you a little story. I don't really use liner, but let's test it out. And you've, I've used liner before. Let me line my lips really quick. So what I will say are these are stupid creamy, which is fantastic. I used to be obsessed with this dark, like pretty similar to this color. Like I'll throw up a picture, but it was a liquid lipstick and I was super mad. I was obsessed. So that is this lip and like, this is a lip. I am kind of living for it if I'm being completely honest. Dogs are on one because every neighbor in my entire complex wants to be loud like all the time, which is cute. But that is this collection. I know kind of living. I hate the rest of my makeup. My eyes could, I kind of have a different vision of what I would do next time. They definitely look more green, but that's the purple bringing it out. Yeah, I hate my face makeup right now. It doesn't look nearly as bad in person, but this lip, it's a look. I'm kind of living. Like I haven't done a dark lip in a while. And these lipsticks are so nice and creamy. They're very, they're, I'm pretty sure, or they feel like the same formula as like the Sofia Nagard, Nygaard collab lipsticks. And I really enjoy that formula as well. Like I love me a basic nude or a gloss 
and just being simple and like natural, but work. Okay, okay, I love this lip. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I I love ColourPop, so I mean, I knew I was gonna like it anyways. It's just me, whether or not I was gonna mess everything up. And this is what we ended with. The palette is definitely nice because I think that it is a very good like fall palette. It It's nice. And ColourPop's formula is good. Like, I've never, I don't think I've ever really had any real problems with it. Glitters are fun. Lashes don't seem bad. One thing I will say is they, you no, know, actually, these look pretty good. They look not bad at all. I remember watching a video, can't remember which. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, like, these are the Flirty Witch. And it's not just my light or the plastic behind it, but they are a little bit more plasticky, shiny looking, which they don't seem that bad, but you know, they're affordable lashes. So I need to like start wearing lashes more because I love when my lashes look good. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. I still have a couple more Halloween like e-makeup looks, collections, such coming up. So we're not done for the season yet, but yeah. I, is it growing on me? So like, no lip, meh, just the lip, absolutely, but yeah, it's okay. I do like the collection though. I would definitely wanna play with it definitely more. That's all I got for this video. Subscribe if you have not liked this video. Comment future ideas. Like I said, there is so much coming. I promise I'm working on it. And I'm working on it because I want my room back. I want, I like, I my brain is like overflowing with like more ideas and videos. And I just like, yeah, we need to get, end to this but that's it for today guys till next time